Hello everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I want to give you a quick tip on how you can run a report in Remind and download the contact information for owners of properties in certain zip codes or subdivisions or neighborhoods, and then you can put them into command and start marketing to them. All right, let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is log in to Netris. Once you're logged into Netris, you'll see Remind is one of the Netris applications right here. When you click on the app, it's going to load. We're going to go to search over here on the left side. Now, a couple of things to note. When you are on here, you can either zoom in and out of the map here, and you'll see that the results change on the right side to where you're zoomed in. You can also search by zip code, address, city, neighborhood, MLS region up here. Okay. And then you also have filters up here on the top. And there are these different layers on the left side. So you can play around with this. You cannot break anything. Um, a few filters that I highly recommend are this home equity 35,000 plus, sell score high, ownership time zero to five years, and also off market properties. Now, once again, there are a lot of different filters here. So just kind of depending what you're looking for, who you're wanting to target, um, then just add your filters accordingly. Once you have your filters selected, um, just make sure you type up here either your zip code, your city, etc. I'm just going to do Burleson zip code just for this example. And when I type it, you'll see this pops up. So I'm going to select it. So now you'll see this results number has changed. And it is showing you any properties that meet these filter criteria in this zip code. All right. That is good enough for me. Um, I don't want to add any other filters because I just wanted anyone in Burleson that meets that criteria. So what I'm going to do next is you come over here to select all. And then you're going to save the search. We can name it right here. I'm just going to say Burleson test and save search. Once you have it saved, now you can go select all and cart. Once again, name your cart. So I'm going to say Burleson test. Once you type your cart name, you'll see below it, create Burleson test. So make sure you click on that because if you don't click it, it's not going to let you save it. Once you create your um, cart name, you're going to click the add 236 results to Burleson test. Once this loads, and you'll see it up here on the right side where it's loading all of the property information into the search into your cart. So once it is finished, then we'll be able to go over here to carts on the left side. This is going to show you any carts that you have saved, saved searches of information that you can now export or even send mailers through this system. Okay, so it automatically pulls up the Burleson test one that I just saved. However, if you're looking for an older search that you did, you can see all of those right here. So I've selected on Burleson test. Now I'm going to click the select all checkbox right here. And now we can click export. Now we got to name our file. I'm just going to say Burleson test once again. <clears throat> and once you've done that, then you choose which columns you want to export. I do not recommend doing include all columns because there's a lot, as you'll see here. All of this information would populate and it's gonna be a huge file and it's gonna take a long time to download. It's just way too much information. 
So the most important for me, what I'm attempting to do is to get the owner's information and the property address information. That's all that I want. Once you do that, you click export. And now it'll notify you once it's finished, it's downloading to your computer. <clears throat> and then what's really awesome, if you're with Keller Williams, once you have this spreadsheet, you don't have to do anything to it. You can literally email that spreadsheet to scott at scottleroymarketing.com and ask him to import this into your command and tag it <clears throat> as whatever tag you prefer. So for example, with this one, I would say, hey, Scott, will you please upload this into my command database and tag it as Burleson test in my, um, my command database. Or I might even say, tag it as remind-Burleson test. So that way I can easily um, differentiate who, you know, what um, leads came from Remind and which ones did it. So I hope this helps. If you need any help at all, just let me know. I'm here to help and I hope you have a great day.